Welcome to the Transparent FX Academy. I'm Nick and I'm a top author on trading view with over 190k reputation points. In this video, I will be speaking about BTC USD. Now, as usual, first I will be covering the technical aspect for this market. Then we will be moving to the order flow by looking at the commitment of traders. So the COT data, so essentially what hedge funds and the big players in the market are doing. And then we will be moving to the on-chain data to see how Bitcoins are moving on and off from exchanges. and other important metrics. And by the end of the video, by putting together all these different types of analysis, we will try to understand where we have the highest probabilities for the next potential move here for this pair. So this is definitely a video you do not want to miss. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. This is the place to be for high quality free trading education. Now, without further ado, let's jump straight onto the charts. Starting here from the monthly time frame, what we can see, first of all, is that it, the market is currently following with the usual four year cycles, at least up to this moment. In fact, we can notice how exactly from here all the previous bear market was created. Here we had the halving, the market entered into a bull market, then we had the bear market, which went all the way down and retested exactly the previous cycle high, so the previous resistance not turn support. And now the market is rejecting that previous cycle high to the upside. We now just had yet another halving. So if the four year, year cycles are supposed to repeat at this point, we're supposed to see another bull market like the one that we had right here. So from a cycle perspective, at the moment, everything looks very bullish. Now, if we look at what kind of patterns the market has created so far, we can notice a very strong impulse to the upside, followed by a correction. Now, in general, after an impulse, if you want to measure the correction, you have to take your Fibonacci from the low to the high of the impulse leg. This shows us how the market has stopped. It has stopped exactly at the area in between the 0.32 and 50% retracements, which is exactly what you would naturally expect in a situation like this, and the market is currently rejecting the zone to the upside. So from a monthly standpoint, everything seems quite bullish, and there is definitely the possibility of seeing more bullish price action being created away from this area. Dropping down on the weekly time frame, what do we see? Now, from a weekly standpoint, we can notice how the market did have a counter trend line extending from here, which was respected in multiple occasions. Now, we just had the break to the upside from this counter trend line already retested here now as support because in the market previous resistance once it is broken to the upside becomes support and at the moment the market seems ready for a potential rejection to the upside away from this area so the weekly time frame at the moment does seem quite bullish we can also notice how we do have some horizontal structure at this level this zone was previous resistance which the market broke to the upside at that point it was turned support so there is definitely the possibility from here to see a potential rejection to the upside away from this level Dropping down on the daily time frame, what do we see? Now, from a daily standpoint, this is where things get a bit uh, problematic because at least at the moment, there still is bearish structure. If we look closely, we can see how the market, if we follow the movements, created a new higher high, higher low, higher high, then broke to the downside below this previous low. So it created a new lower low, now a lower high, now another lower low. And here, the market needs to decide, will it create yet another lower high and lower low, or will it break structure to the upside and resume with the uptrend? So we are currently with bearish structure from a daily perspective, even though the monthly and weekly are quite bullish. So let's keep all of this in mind and we will get back to it in just a few moments and move to the commitment of traders analysis. Now, when it comes to what the non-commercials, so the biggest speculators in the market are doing, what we can see here is that with the last reports, they still have not moved back to the bullish side for BTC. In fact, we went from a positive 108 net positioning to now a negative minus 1.8k net positioning. So even though with the last report, we still see longs getting added, they're still adding shorts. So they are still looking for movements like these ones. They're not fully moved to the bullish side just yet as they were, for example, here when the price was creating all that uh, massive push to the upside, right? 
clear, clearly during this move to the upside, institutions were indeed moving back to the bullish side for BTC USD. So when it comes to the non-commercials, they still seem to be waiting for something. Potentially, it could be that they're waiting for the US elections to see who will actually win. Moving to the on-chain data, what we can see here is that the first metric that I want to speak about is the exchange reserves. Now, this is currently the amount of Bitcoins held on exchanges. And what we can notice is that the white line is the price, the purple line is the amount of Bitcoins on exchanges. What we can see is that the low of the bear market here, the white line, which would be exactly the test of the previous cycle high that we were seeing previously on the monthly time frame when we were on the chart, the amount of Bitcoins on exchanges was dropping massively. After that, the huge push to the upside followed. Right now, during this horizontal movement of the price, again, the amount of Bitcoins on exchanges are dropping dramatically, which could trigger exactly the same reaction at some point from the market, like a supply shock, because there are such a huge amount of Bitcoins being bought and moved away from exchanges. We can also notice how the, um, how the halving was quite successful. We can notice, in fact, if we look here at the new supply, that uh, the new supply emitted into circulation has yet again been cut in half. We can see how every four years, the purple line gets cut in half, which is the new supply emitted into circulation. We can see how, again, here we had yet another halving. And at the moment, the market still has not reacted to this halving, even though the supply emitted into circulation has now been cut in half. So this could be building up a supply shock that at that point could bring this price higher. So let's keep all of this in mind and move back to the chart. So in a situation like this, what would I expect? Well, first of all, this area is the previous resistance. From here, all the previous move to the downside started. Now, if the market will manage to break above this level. After the break, that is where things get really interesting because at that point, also the daily time frame would once again have bullish structure. So after the break on the retest of the previous resistance turn support, that is where there is an increased probability of seeing more institutional longing, which at that point could further increase the probabilities of seeing a potential rejection to the upside away from this level. So if the market does break this level and retest it, what would I expect? Well, as usual, trading is reactive and not predictive. The monthly, weekly and daily time frames combined with the COT data, those are the best time frames when it comes to the directional aspect of the market. However, when it comes to identifying early shifts in the trend of a market, the best time frames for that are the intraday time frames. So for our and lower. Therefore, what I would expect is that if this market would shift from an intraday bearish to bullish market at that point, I wouldn't be surprised to see a potential rejection to the upside, completing this daily impulse correction and impulse pattern to the upside. That definitely wouldn't surprise me. Now, if you want to learn more, I really suggest that you go and check out the transparentfxtrading.com website, which you find linked in the description here. You have the possibility to gain access to the most complete mentorship program ever that I have created. You have the possibility to gain access to all the courses, the trading station software with the Telegram signals integration, one-on-one -on -one private mentoring directly with me, the COT data software that you see me use in all these videos. And if you continue to scroll down the website, pass the testimonials, you will see that you have the possibility to join and gain automatically access with the email and password that you will create during the sign-up process. So I really suggest that you go and check it out. The link is in the description and I will see you in it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like and also let me know in the comments below any new pairs or topics that you would like me to cover in the next videos. And I will see you in my next breakdown.